Did we get a paint on the car? Let's say that this car is going to be the full-blown speed car. Some very cool paints here. I have this on one of my cars already. Is there anything else I want to put on a car? I mean, that's kind of cool. Simple, cool. Falcon paint looks kind of cool too. Uh, for now, let's just search. What's up, Mighty Ray? Let's just scroll through, see if there's anything that really, oh. Top secret Supra has to be the one that has power. Forgot about that paint job. Didn't forget about the car. Top secret is mandatory for a power build. I'm thinking wide body. What do we think in chat? Wide body or no? What do we think in the comments? Wide body? Yeah. There's your wide body. It looks so sick. I like it. We're doing it. Um, I'll wait to do the turbo. Let's throw on a couple other things here. We're gonna take off a lot of the handling pieces for now. I'm just gonna throw everything at it. It is a power build. So we're going full power. I'm gonna do an intercooler. Twin turbo makes 1173. What about single turbo? 1173. Single turbo's a little lighter. Let's actually, um. Hmm. So 11.3. Actually, it doesn't even matter, does it? 3.91. Eleven three. I mean, a single, single big turbo, turbo, and the, the super is the way, right? That's just how they are. So let's do it. Um, I could do full weight reduction, and I will. Rear tire width would be nice, but I would also like a tire compound if I can. Can I? I mean, that's not even that bad. What handling is that? Four one. Brother, I think this is gonna rip. 803, 810. Let's see if I can get below that. No, not that. 804, 810, 809. Stock wheels with a drive line. Seems to be the way. I don't like the stock wheels, so I'm gonna be honest. So we're just gonna toss those on. Call it good for now. That thing looks like it's gonna be a monster. Um, four one handling, of course, not a lot of handling, but we're gonna have some fun with it. I will build this car um, this way, and then I'll build, no, we'll run something else at Road America, but this will be Daytona and Le Mans. Honestly, I probably should have uh, done something with the wing, but it's all right. Let's see how high I can go on this while going fast enough here. 204 is not enough. It's gonna be closer. Ollie! What are you doing, little man? 250? That might be okay. First gear. Let's go. 90? For a start. Something like that should be all right to start with at least. Let's pull this back.
bump this up. We'll turn this up. Make that adjustment there. We'll leave the front arrow. Hopefully it doesn't make this car rotate weird. And we'll take it for a spin around road. See what this thing does. Not gonna drive this car here, but gonna drive it at Daytona. And oh my goodness, the TCS drop when AI is driving. Oh my goodness. This thing rips. <laughs> I might go for a smaller wing, I don't know. Tempted to just leave it. It is understeering a lot. Because it has no front arrow and it has rear arrow, but you know. Actually it has full front and no rear, that's what I should say. So it should be okay. I guess the wing is kind of an just part of the body kit, so there's not much you can do there. Ooh, a little hot. That's all right. So I can put second or first gear to where second is, and we'll be good. Okay. Good little sighting lap for this car. Let's we'll see how it does around the fast tracks. The real fast tracks. Oh, this thing is going to be insane. I just know it. I can't wait. Woohoo! Listen to that. Alright, longer gears all around. Car turns better than I thought it would also, which is nice. Guess that's down to the front arrow. Drives like a power car though. You gotta be careful, or else you're just gonna slide everywhere. What am I gonna do on the back stretch? Am I gonna hit 230? Luckily, I don't have to rev it all the way out to get power. Actually, short shift. Oh, 230 easy. Is it 240? Not quite. Very close. Maybe with a little bit of a gearing adjustment, I might be able to get a couple mile an hour at the top. I need it to be longer than that, though. Something like that would probably be better. And then let's make first gear go to like 115 would should be okay. All right, let's try that. Uh, the spoiler, I actually don't think you can take it off because I think it just comes with the body kit. So it is what it is. It won't, it won't hurt the top speed though, I don't think. Because um, it doesn't come with arrow or adjustable arrow. Goodness. So, question is, can I exit this in second? Oh yeah, easy. Honestly, I should, I could ride third through this whole thing, but I'm gonna do second. Second is the old third gear. enough to be able to get power down. Should 
shift around like 77, 76. What are we looking at for power? That's perfect. Nice. This thing's gonna fly. Yeah, the S7 is a really, really good car for a track like this. I ran a 350 in my Corvette, which was, was kind of shocking for me. I stay away from the S7. I think it's a little too quick for me. Too mainstream. Personally, at least. This is the Toyota Supra, 1998. I really should have checked if I could leave that, I'm gonna check, if I can leave that corner in second. Can I get back in time? I can absolutely leave that corner in second. So first gear is irrelevant for me, unfortunately, now. I guess I should have put first where second is. S-Class six cylinder, we've got the wide body super out. It's got a crazy build on it. 11, over 1100 horsepower. Let's drop to the back. We'll see what happens here. Look at the power figures. 1173. And look at the look at the speed. Look how fast it accelerates. Oh my goodness. We are gonna fly down the straights, but we gotta get there first. So let's chill out for a little bit. Let's just make up a few positions if we can, avoiding some of this, uh, some of these incidents. Slowly work my way through the field. Oh my goodness. Well, that was something. Oh, he got a big penalty for that. He's got nine seconds of penalty already? Oh my goodness. Alright, anyways. Holly says hi, and the wife is probably home. So let's get the power down and get out of here. The puppies are so excited about me going so fast right now. I'm going to go to the right. This is going to be 230 miles an hour without an issue. 240 with a little bit of draft at the end of the straightaway. Fairly conservative break. I hear a lot of collisions back there. Get the power down and see you later 911 stress inversion. Yeah, the puppies know mommy's home. We're excited. Let's fly past everyone else though. Easy. Actually, I'm not going to pull into the braking line there. Just because uh, I don't have the handling to compete with him. Oh my gosh. That was a hard hit from behind. Alright, get around the outside. As long as he gives me room, I'm just going to go off. Whatever. Third place, locked in. Break around the light. That's still pretty conservative, but it'll be all right. Put the power down and get out of here. Now let's see if I can catch the leaders, because it'd be awesome to be able to catch them. Uh, right here, but oh, that was really sketchy on the curbing. All right, 
There's the NSX. Build up the boost a little bit through the corner. Get the power down. C7 Vet Z06 or C6 Z06. I think he was actually driving in Corvette too, so I love to see that, as you all know. Love to see people match their cars with their names. Alright, let's see how much time I lose going through here. Through the handling section. Honestly, not a whole lot. I'm not getting dropped here, which is a good sign because I know I can get them in the straights. This thing just sounds so crazy. Go. Ooh, the vet's sliding a little bit. Don't really have anywhere to go now, unfortunately. So we're just chilling back here. NSX with a pretty nice move there to get the lead for the time being. I think the Corvette might have more power than the NSX in the straight, though. Kind of just chilling here for now. Wait till the straightaway. Get the power down and get out of here. Yeah, Corvette's got some power. NSX has a little bit, but not enough. Power. A little conservative on the braking. Not too bad though. Build up a bit of boost. Stomp on the loud pedal. Just pulling on the straightaway. Yeah, this thing's a rocket ship. I'm glad I got to build it. A lot of fun to drive. It absolutely looks insane too with a huge wing on the back. As long as I make sure to build up the boost before I exit the corner, this thing has no problems spinning the tires in second gear. go. Just ripping the tires out of that corner. So third place has a pretty decent sized friendly 250. Ooh, a little sketchy. Breaking at an angle. But I do have a pretty decent gap to the guys behind me. Tempted to just try and send it through the chicanes here to see what happens. Not here, but the last two chicanes. See what I can run for a lap time. Obviously, I was a little slow at the start of the lap. Caught behind the vet for a second, but not too bad. Whoa! That curb tried to end my race. 
I was able to catch it though. Not bad at all. So uh, 351 for at night with a bit of a compromised first sector there, but not too bad. The car did try to kill me at the end there, but saved it. We're okay. We're okay. We're alive. Um, the Supra, though, absolutely ripping down the straights here. Love this thing. That, that car is a lot of fun to drive. Not a bad run. Supra looking all right. 